Hello, this is Michael Roby. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Digital Prospecting Plus. We're going to talk about power prospecting with LinkedIn and other social media today. Is prospecting really that big a deal? Is that something that's difficult for us in the financial services industry? Well, according to the Industrial Performance Group, the average salesperson spends only 38% of his or her time selling. When you get right down to it, we're spending about a third of our time doing our job, prospecting and qualifying, presenting solutions and closing, and solution implementation. In a recent edition of NAFA's Advisor Today, a Long Island CFP, somebody who was successful in our industry, he got in the business in 1994, quickly found out when he started that he had something in common with other advisors. He hated prospecting, cold calling, asking referrals. We're always looking for a better way to prospect. And in the next three minutes and 35 seconds, I'm going to give you several techniques that are working for advisors just like you across the country today. Starting out on your personal profile on LinkedIn, there are a number of places to find existing prospects within your existing contacts. For example, if you go down and take a look at your past associations, past employers. For example, you'll see I'm a director and the past president at National Speakers Association's Minnesota chapter. If I were prospecting, I might go to the NSA Minnesota website and see what I could find. Once I went there and I could see the home page, first of all, I can see who the president of the chapter is at this time. But even more importantly, I can get a current list of the board of directors, and these directors might possibly be prospects for me in my business. Secondly, I can go back to my LinkedIn page, and as you go down through here, you might take a look at, well, where did I go to school? Might there be anybody in my geographic area that went to my alma mater, Murray State University? If you go to the advanced people search feature of LinkedIn. You can search by school within a particular zip code, and in this case I found 108 Murray State alums within 50 miles of where I live today. This can be a great source of prospects, and you can do an amazing number of types of searches using the advanced search feature of LinkedIn. And last but not least, if you go back to your profile page and you take a look at your existing contacts, your connections. You know, for example, I have several hundred connections on LinkedIn. I could just go to that particular list and that gives me a great new source of prospects because there are people on here that I might have called on in the past. They might, there might be current clients, but at the same time, there may be some people that I haven't called upon recently. So this can be a great source as well. If you go back to my profile, View that profile again. You can also find groups that I belong to. For example, if you look at my groups, uh, there may be groups to which I belong that there might be existing prospects at the present time. Once again, for example, Colby Certified Consultants Network. I'm a certified cons Colby consultant. And if I were prospecting there, I could look there and find a number of people in that group. There's a number of members that might possibly be, and in this case, 320 might possibly be prospects for me. So there's a host of places that you can find connections, a host of places that you can find prospects within your existing profile. If you go back to the profile one more time, I'm going to show you what might be the most powerful way to search for prospects on LinkedIn, and that is what we call initiated referrals. Go to your connections, and especially those connections that have are your first degree connections and have referred you to other people and other people to you in the past. There's an element of trust there and you can go through these connections. You can find these particular people and then find their connections and tell your clients and prospects and connections to whom you wish to be referred. This is what we call initiated referrals and if you want more information get in touch with us about how to institute this program. It works every time. The great thing about these techniques is they work with other digital networking groups such as Facebook. You can use Google to search and find a vast amount of information about people that you know. At the end of the day, there's only three types of people in the world. People that you know, people referred to you by people that you know, and everybody else. Why spend time talking to everybody else when you can talk to people you know and people referred to you by people that you know? 
If you'd like more information on hiring me as a conference speaker, sales trainer, practice management coach, get in touch with us. Or just, just like we were talking about in the last few minutes, Google me. I'm pretty easy to find. Once again, this is Michael Roby. Thanks for taking the time to listen and watch. Work hard, work smart, and have fun.